Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day four of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today we're talking about WIIFU. You've probably heard of WIIFM. It's an acronym that stands for What's In It For Me. I like WIIFU better because it's What's In It For You. And I know you isn't starting with a Y, but I think you get it. But we always have to ask ourselves, and one of my secret tricks to, to being a self-starter and to, to continue to motivate myself to work toward what it is that I want because that's what this challenge is all about is getting what we want setting goals having goals moving towards something and creating the life we want but how do we go about getting everything that we want one of the, the secret ways to do that is to think about what's in it for you what's in it for me today my question for me is what's in it for me to be an absolute positive master of goals and why would that and how would that benefit me we're just going to share today our action items to think of three things think of and you don't have to share them all but at least write them down in your book i've got my my book all set up one two three for what are my three what's in it for me is and i i brainstorm a couple of things to give you an idea of how to get started but think about really at an instinctual guttural level what's in it for you to do this challenge, to think about your goals, to master your goals, to be an absolute superstar of goals. Because why? Why do you wanna do that? And we're gonna talk about an exercise in a few days called the seven wise exercise. Incredibly powerful exercise. Uh, if you've never done it, or even if you have, every time I do it, and I've done it at least 100 times, I learn something more about myself. I uncover some crazy false belief that I've been holding on to since I was a kid that I didn't even realize I had at a conscious level. So that's why that's such a powerful tool. But today, we're just going to think about what's in it for you to be working on goals, thinking about goals, mastering goals, learning all you can about goals, goal setting, goal achieving, and the steps to setting goals. And we're going to go over them over and over and over again in each of the areas and aspects of our life to make sure that we each have a plan that we can carry forward for the rest of our life in terms of how we get what we want. Because you know what? It's really only a simple five-step process to get anything that we want in life. And so we're gonna find a way to make that just part of our subconscious so everything we do filters through, does this move me toward my goals or away from my goals? All right, so what's in it for you to become a goal master? For me, I wrote down a couple of things. Let me grab my magnifying glass and see what it has to say. Uh, goals give me direction. Goal setting helps me to identify what's important to me. Uh, setting goals helps me measure my progress. How do I know if I'm moving away or from what I want or toward what I want? Goals help me stay motivated. I think that's why I started asking the question, what's in it for me to do this? What's in it for me to take this training? What's in it for me to listen to this video? What's in it for me to do this challenge? What's in it for me to take this course? What's in it for me to take this job? What's in it for me to start this business? Whatever it is for you. What's in it for me to be in this relationship? Uh, and finally, setting goals helps me be accountable to myself because guess what? We can fool some of the people some of the time, but we never really can fool ourselves. We might be able to stuff things down and act like we're fooling ourselves, but we never really are. So today, what's in it for you? Action item, three things that's in it for you to become a goal master. Share whatever ones you want in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow for day five of our Get Your Goals annual challenge. Have an amazing day.